Ants, part four, infection. After much effort, the scout found her way back to her colony where her ant brethren quickly took the still wriggling termite from her grasp and dragged him into the depths of their home. A nearby pheromone, a call for help, drew her attention away from her latest victim. An ant guard was corralling a smaller ant away from the colony with desperate fervor. Upon seeing the smaller ant, the scout noted that she was covered in some kind of odd white fur. Something foreign, something deadly, a disease. Knowing this ant could not be allowed to enter the colony, the scout joined the guard and the two dragged the diseased ant further into the woods, then butchered her. They tore into her with their large mandibles, then carried her remains to somewhere far from their home. The scout and guard then turned on each other. Both let the other strike fatal wounds to ensure that neither returned to the colony. For in their efforts to remove the diseased ant, both may now be infected and neither would risk spreading this disease to the rest of their colony. So both ants died sacrificing for the colony that would soon replace their numbers with equally dedicated workers. For without absolute dedication to the colony, the colony would surely fail.